Let's talk about smart collections. Uh, to do this, I'm going to hide the inspector in the timeline. And I'm going to shrink down our viewer here just by clicking and dragging on the different areas inside of Final Cut. Because smart collections are used in the browser. That's the primary place where you're going to use them to organize your content. And if you've watched some of the previous videos, you'll be very used to this mess of a stock library that I have that has all kinds of different random clips that I've brought in. Most of them still images, but there's definitely some video as well. And on the left column, I can see my stock library. I see the smart collections. These are the library smart collections. And then I have an unsorted event that has all of the clips. And if I open that up, I can see some keywords and I even have some smart collections as well. So let me start by explaining the library smart collections, which will start with all video. So if you click on all video, we know this is a smart collection because of the little gear that's next to it. And if I double click on it, I can open up the smart collection window, which is this little window. Let me move it over on the video here, make it hopefully a little bit easier to pop out. And in this window, you're setting what are the parameters for this smart collection. So in this case, all video goes and finds any clip that has media that is video only and media that is video and audio. So that is what this smart collection looks like, which makes sense. Any clips that are just video or any clips that have video with audio, put them into this smart collection. And that's what we see here. So we could go through and say audio only. And as you'd expect in our little smart collection window, we see media that is audio only will automatically be put into this smart collection. And when it's in this folder here called smart collections, this is what makes it a library smart collection. And the difference between a just normal smart collection and a library smart collection is if you have 10 or 20 different events, multiple events, the library smart collection searches for clips in any one of those events. So when we're looking at this audio only smart collection, if we have multiple events, you could have songs in every single one of those events. This smart collection lets you search for all of those clips. Another thing to know about smart collections, it's not duplicating any of your clips. So when we're seeing one of these songs here, or if we go into say our projects, these projects are not duplicated. So if I go to unsorted, I can see the projects, but I also see them here. Just keep that in mind. Smart collections are not duplicating or copying anything that you see there. It's just like a smart search. So if you went up here to the right side and search for something, that's essentially what a smart collection is. It's just already built. It's doing the search for you. So let's go into our event here. When I'm looking at all these pictures, there's a lot going on. I've added a ton of keywords. We see this list going down. It's, it's a mess. There's just so much to look for. But one of the things I've done is I've created a smart collection called Flash and Colby. So I can go down and click on that. And then I see just the clips that include Flash, which is this black cat here or Colby, which is the here, the angry orange cat that we're seeing. And at the top right, I can click on this little button, uh, which goes into our filter HUD, and I could filter these clips as well. So uh, right now I'm seeing just uh, the Colby and Flash pictures, but I could say I want to see clips that just include text that is, let's say, Flash. So I just type in Flash, and now we're seeing just the clips inside of this smart collection that include Flash. I filtered it. Um, that's really nice. And if I wanted to save this, I can actually go down here and click on New Smart Collection. And it's all the way at the bottom left corner there. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to call it Flash. If I double click on the Smart Collection, now I see those parameters. If the text includes Flash, put it into this Smart Collection. So again, um, making another one, we could uh, start by looking at our event. We can start by using the filter HUD which the filter is kind of like a temporary smart collection because the filter just lets you search through or filter through your clips to show you a specific item. And we could do that and then save it as a new smart collection, which the smart collection is our save. There's something that you can easily go back to. So let's see what we can create, right? So the first thing is you have all or any. And what this means is based on the parameters that you're seeing here, do you want us to match all of the parameters or any of the parameters. And here's what I mean. Let's say I have text that includes, uh, let's say, 
uh, let's see, I got some sports here. Let's use, all right, let's use the beach. So if the text includes beach, we're gonna put it in here, right? So I can see I have some of these that are have the beach and have uh, dogs on them. So let me hit the plus and add another text field. And I'm gonna type in dog. So now I'm seeing if it matches all of the following conditions, meaning if it matches both beach and dogs. So this, this one picture here has the word dog in it somewhere and it has the word beach in there. And you can actually see at the top here, the title has animals, beach, dogs. So it includes all of those. If I switch it to any, then it means if the text includes beach or the text includes dog. So now that's why we have all of these different clips here because we have a ton of uh, dog sound effects. There's the beach project. Uh, so a lot more clips are seen there. So that's the difference between any and all, which makes a huge difference. Is It's like this and this, or it's this or this, or the difference between those two. Uh, okay, so that's those ones. Again, you can go through on your own time and kind of play with these, but you can enable or disable any of these fields while you're looking at the uh, smart collection, or in this case, the filter menu. You can include or do not include. Again, these are pretty, these are just logic that you would add in to any of these. So if you want it to be beach, but not dogs you could say if it does not include dogs which is almost every clip so gotta be careful with what you're using here but uh, you have those options there on the right side when you've added a parameter uh, you can hit this minus to remove it but some of the other parameters that you can use to build your smart collections are your ratings if you've added favorite and rejected to your clips you can add that in you can choose media types which is very useful so we were seeing this with the library smart collections that did video and audio. If you want to see a specific type of media, you can do that. So like I have a lot of stills, so maybe I want to see all the stills. And I want to do all, so we'll do that. We'll minus out, and we get some of our beach still pictures. So that's media type. Uh, you have normal type. This is the just type of file that it is. So we could see we want just projects, or we want a layered graphic versus synchronized compound clips those types of clips are in there. Um, we have used media. This one actually I really like because you can say you want to see used media versus unused media. And here's what that means. So let me open up the project here. I'm going to get rid of stills. So if the text includes beach um, and it's unused, we're going to see it up at the top here, right? So this, uh, this picture is actually a different label from this one. That's why it's still up there. But, or sorry, that's why it's there. So this is the only beach labeled clip that's used in this project. If I hit unused, I can see all of the clips up here that are not used in this current project. So we're able to see those and work with those. Again, I think these two are different labels. That's why it's not showing, but that's kind of what that clip is. Um, let's see, some of these other things that you can use are things like keywords. You can add and choose specific keywords. Uh, you can show what kind of people are in them, what type of shots they are based on the people that it's analyzed, format, date, and roles, all kinds of other information that you can use there. Again, you can build these on your own. And then once you've built it, you can just click New Smart Collection, and you'll see in the uh, browser here on the left column, it's now added that Smart Collection, and we can go in and name this and set this up as our, our collection. If we didn't like how it was created, just double click on the collection, It'll bring up those parameters. You can adjust these, make changes to them at any point, and it'll update it for you. Uh, so again, using filters, you can use the search temporarily through your library of content, and then save them as smart collections so that you can use them going forward. I hope you will find a way to use these in your projects. If you found this helpful, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content, and again, leave a comment, send me an email, get a hold of me if there's something specific you would like to learn.